All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, at the market uh, action day on the S&P. Uh, the indicator and the strategy has been released. They have been released to you, so you should have everything in your mailboxes. Uh, we're going to have a conference call coming up. Um, Gerald will let the members know when that's going to be. Uh, I have to talk with them and go over a schedule. But the indicator and strategy have been released. Let's go over this uh, recent trade, and then um, I'll go over specifically after the video is off um, the setups for some members um, on what to do. Uh, but let's go over and take a look at um, the uh, market action and uh, the setups we have on the S&P right now. All right, so uh, there's three parts to the, uh, the indicator and strategy that we released to you. Right now we have a momentum in the market. This is our momentum chart. So our momentum chart sets the strategy and indicator up uh, for entry. So this is a momentum chart. And the beautiful thing about the momentum chart, if you are a trader in any futures, stocks, forex, or currency market, um, you need to avoid chop and you need to trade vertical or trend markets. Because if you trade vertical or trend markets, then retracements work beautifully. If you trade chop markets, then you're going to get stopped out quite a bit in all those markets because CHOP is very difficult to trade retracements. In fact, retracements don't work in CHOP very well. Retracements work excellent with vertical trend markets. So a momentum chart, what it does, it allows us to take advantage of knowing when the markets go vertical. So when these turn, when they all turn together, you can see they all start turning yellow together here, all together, my six zone dots. When they all turn uh, together, it allows you to know that the market is what? Going possibly for a major move to the upside. And if we know ahead of time, way ahead of time, if the market has a possible major move to the upside, we can now start looking for retracements. So here is when they all started turning together. So once they turn together, you can look at either our Renko, our Simrenko chart for trade entry, or you can use the Ninja Uni Renko bar for trade entry. And our indicator then is next door. Our indicator with the zones automatically built in. This is the zone indicator. It will automatically fire these arrows and these wrongly positioned traders or wrongly positioned algorithms when we have a possible reversal, major reversal. And what that allows us to do, it allows us to pinpoint when we have a major possible reversals, but it allows us to pinpoint when the counter trend traders are getting caught in the market. Because what we have, we have this uh, ATR indicator, which allows us to look for trend only. So trend is up, it's a green ATR. And then what we look for is we look for these opposite color speed bars, I call them reversal bars, uh, to come in and once they print, once there's a qualified trade at the zone or inside the zone, you will get a arrow that fires for exact pinpoint accuracy when to fire a trade. Now what you can do is you can also uh, use these WPTs to only fire trades inside the zone also if you wish. So you don't even have to take these WPTs outside the zone. The indicator, you can have it where it is, you can just hit zone and only the arrows will fire with inside the zone. So when I get my indicator that comes up, if I just click zone, then you're gonna only get trades that fire inside of the zone. It literally has to come inside the zone. If it comes inside the zone, then you will get an arrow that fires for a possible entry, but it has to come inside the zone. So you can either do outside all, all WPTs with the zone or outside the zone, or you could do trades that are um, all wrongly positioned traders. Now, the third component that we, we have with the system is our strategy. Now, our strategy can be used as a standalone indicator with the momentum chart, or it can be used with the indicator by itself. Let's look at the entire session with the strategy right now. So the strategy right here is the entire session so far. 
Now, if you look here, when we turned um, all together at uh, all turned green, all turned green at what 7:09 this morning. So 7:09 is when the market turned all green. 7:09 right there. So that's where we turned. Oh, let me get a vertical, not a horizontal line. Sorry about that. Let's go vertical. 7:09. Right there. So this is where the market turned, started getting momentum in the market. If we see our momentum chart that turns all six green dots all for, for momentum up, we're looking for a buy retracement. If we look, see all six green dots, all, all six red dots over here come together, we're looking for a sell retracement. So we're in a momentum up. This told us to look for a retracement. So what you can do is you can actually turn the strategy on and it caught this retracement. The strategy is one for one now on today, this morning so far. Strategy one for one, first target's off, hit the second target, it's going for the third target right now as we speak. The strategy does the same thing as the indicator right here. What it does, it is, it instead of going manually, putting your manual trades in, when these arrows fire, it will automatically enter your trade for you. It will put your stop that you preset for you. It will put your uh, your targets for you that you already preset. And it has a built-in trail. And the built-in trail is automatically. So this morning, if you look at the strategy since the since midnight, that is what we've run so far in the strategy since midnight. So it's, all right, here's midnight. It also has automatic preset stops. So Let's say that this was, we did have a vertical move here to the downside yesterday. They all turned red, six red dots. There's a strategy that caught all targets. Um, this had a, once it closes outside of the ATR, it has an automatic stop feature also. So your stops are automatically preset and also your targets and so on are preset. So when you get these markets that go vertical, so Here's a vertical market yesterday also. So the market went vertical here. Market went vertical there. So all six red dots. So if all six red dots come in, you can turn on the strategy. And then it will look for the first retracement and get you in the targets and the trails, etc. So right now what we got going on, we have a buy setup where it automatically got the entry. This was a fill on the strategy running this morning at 41.12 and a quarter. It got out at 41.17 a quarter and four, and this was this was 4.18 and three quarters where it had a long trail earlier from today. This was from 40.98 all the way to 41.18 so far. So right now, this is our runner. We got runners running all right now in the S&P. So that is the three part that we have. We have the indicator strategy and the movement chart. These all three work together. We also include market profile. Market profile has worked since 1985. And what market profile does, it allows us to know if the market is breaking out. Okay. This is the high value area. If you get outside of high value here, uh, it's just market profile works great in chop markets, selling the red, buying the green. Um, if the market's flat, but if it's trending, once it gets outside of HBA, you get these big trend moves. Right now, we're forming a bull flag on it, and we should see the market form this bull flag. And then, if it breaks out of the bull flag, we should see another stem up in the market. So, we also include that as just a bonus for you guys to know if you are outside of HB and LBA, you see big, giant uh, possible vertical moves in the market also. So, but right now, these two work together, the indicator strategy, zone indicator can be used by itself, or you can use it with the strategy. They, they work together. So whenever this zone, whenever the arrow fires, you're going to get this strategy to fire also. But this sets it all up right here. This sets everything up. That sets everything up, the momentum chart. Because if you can trade momentum of the market, your accuracy can be very, very accurate 
with this system because you're not trading chop markets. You're getting yourself in the highest probability of win. So if we do get stopped out, we know we're getting stopped out in a possible vertical market instead of a chop market. And that alleviates a lot of the stress of trading because we get a big heads up before you uh, get a vertical possible move. And some of these vertical moves we've seen, these are no small vertical moves sometimes. We've seen in the room 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 point moves on the S&P when this momentum chart turns all six green, all six red. So these are not scalping for uh, three points, four, uh, four points, two points like some traders do in the S&P. We're looking for big vertical moves. Now, this does work in all markets. Um, we do have this working across the board uh, in all different markets, all, uh, like I said, stocks, currency, Forex, and so on. Uh, but the, the, uh, we will have a conference call on how to use these three charts, but that's pretty much it. If you put these three, three charts together, let me move this over. This is the guts of the program right there because what you're doing you're allowing, here's a three-part series. This is this strategy over here, zone strategy. Now, all these are preset for you already in our workspaces. So these are the three key charts. Right there. Zone strategy, the momentum chart. Oh, hold on, let me get this out. So, we let the momentum give us a big heads up in the market. This is a key for all traders, no matter what markets you trade. I don't care if you trade options, if you trade uh, indexes, you know, ETFs, you know, if whatever you trade, this chart will give you a big heads up if the market's possible going vertical. So if you trade all futures, stocks, currency, and forex. So this will let you know if you turn all six green, then they turn all six green then you're good to go. Now, I do have an audible alert that fires. When these arrows fire on the indicator, an audible alert does fire on your indicator to give you a possible heads up that we have a vert vertical possible move. Now, this doesn't just work on, uh, this is our oil chart this morning. Oil chart had a vertical move. Here's our zone strategy. Strategy was turned on. We had a big vertical move in uh, crude. Uh, we had six that turned green. So let's take a look at the crude market. So if I go to crude then, our momentum chart. This is why the momentum chart helps us out avoiding chop markets, getting in trend. If we look here, a beautiful looking chart. Look how gorgeous this chart is. All you morning traders, it told you that it all turned six green. It started turning six. Look at this. Look at this guy. Look how beautiful this is. Just a beautiful heads up. Vertical move. There's all six that turn green right there. Your strategy can be turned on, and you crew traders, it's not even 8.42 this morning, and since 7.20 this morning, you've been cranking out some trades with the strategy uh, um, to the upside. It's just been an awesome market to trade both in crude and also in the ES with the strategy and the indicator this morning. If I take a look at it, put it right there, let me blow it up. There it showed a big, big possible move at 726. So if I go back to 726, 726 vertical market. If I go to 726, there's your vertical. You can turn the strategy on, and it caught all this to the upside because there's my WPTs that it caught to the upside on crude oil. That's already preset for you. You can tell as we moved up. Look at that. Look how this called the big vertical market possibly coming in crude. We know we got a big possible major move. This helps the traders out and then takes the stress out of trading for us. And then right there's our WPT. Look how gorgeous that thing is. Look at our WPTs catching the rolling position traders. Opposite color bar corner. Pinpoint accuracy right there. Sniper trading right there. Caught them. Our algo automatically caught it up. Caught it on the strategy. And we get this big giant move in crude this morning, you know, to the upside. Now, what you can do, and we caught the other one, there's your WPT also, caught that big reversal there, caught that big reversal there, and then right now it's catching the reversal on our longer, uh, our, our last zone chart. Now, what you can do, though, too, is you can use a strategy. If you don't want to do the uh, indicator, I'm sorry, I said the strategy, if you go to crude oil, and I pop in crude, 
if you don't want to use a strategy automated trading you can do you can do the individual trading with the indicator there's the indicators that fire the arrows automatically for you look how beautiful how it caught that look how the ATR kept you in crude to keep your mind right right there it caught the exact reversal on crude oil to the exact bar caught the exact bar caught the exact low caught the low caught the low I love it when it hit the zone now what you can do is you can even trade the ones just inside the zone like I was saying or even a couple of ticks with inside the zone. So let's say I hit zone and I say I want to trade with only two ticks with inside the zone. I can put two, put my indicator up. Now look what happens. It only takes ones that come right to the zone or inside the zone. Only fired that one arrow there to be uh, with pinpoint accuracy. Or you can take all WPT trades and we can take this uncheck the zone and have the arrows fire there on every one to the upside with small stops. Once you close two, close outside the zone, the arrows will stop firing. 